I'm gonna show you how you can spot fake Pokemon cards. One of these booster boxes is worth $4,000 and the other one is a fake. What is going on guys? My name is PokeRub and welcome to the Poke Cave. If this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date with all my vintage Pokemon videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. So guys, we are gonna do a comprehensive guide on how you can tell the difference between real and fake Pokemon cards. And in front of me here, I have two 1999 Pokemon base set booster boxes. These have the original Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, etc. And we're actually gonna open up booster boxes. We're gonna open up booster packs and I'm gonna show you everything. Now, we're gonna base this off of vintage Pokemon cards, but this applies to all kinds of Pokemon cards, whether it be the newer sets or the older sets. You can apply it and you can gain knowledge from this video. So make sure you watch the entire thing. So right off the bat here, let's take a look here. And you guys, if you wanna tell me which of these booster boxes, leave a comment and let me know which one of these you think is real and which one you think is fake. The one on the left or the one on the right. So some of you guys, this is gonna be easy. Other people, they're not gonna know the difference and that's fine and there's no problem with that at all because there are people continuously jumping into the hobby and learning and you know they wanna jump in but they don't wanna get scammed. So I'm here to help you guys. Um, so here's this one side here, you have the Venusaur and then you have Charizard and then on the back there then you got the Blastoise there and then let's check out the bottom. So here's your bottom. So that is the two booster boxes and I'm gonna tell you guys the one on the right is the real one. The one on the left is the fake one. So if you got that right, congratulations. If not, don't worry about it. Let's keep watching. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna open up booster packs. So you guys are actually gonna see cards and you're gonna see the differences between them. So this one is real. Now, when you're looking at a base set booster box, specific, specifically the unlimited version, the first thing you wanna look at is, does it have the Wizards of the Coast stamps on here? This is the company that printed the cards out and they stamped all of their booster boxes with these stamps. So if your booster box does not have these Wizards of the Coast logos on there, right away, you're gonna know it is a fake, as long as it's the base unlimited booster box. There were a few that did not have the stamps, first edition base and some of these Shadowless base sets and actually Aquapolis also, there was some prints that did not have the stamps. But other than that, all these boxes are gonna have Wizards of the Coast stamps on them. Here's your fake one, guys. So we take a look here, first off the wrap, it makes this really weird sound. It just feels cheap. If you're looking at a box like this, the wrap is really soft. It doesn't make a sound. So that's one dead giveaway right there is if you have this weird crinkly wrap. Feel that? I mean, you hear that? It's just, it's really crinkly. This one doesn't make that noise at all. So there's one of your signs right there. The other is of course, there's no Wizards of the Coast stamps on here. So if you take a look at this guys, no stamps anywhere at all whatsoever. So that is another dead giveaway that this box is a fake. So with that out of the way, other than that, the only difference really is the colors on here are a little bit different, but that's not really a definitive way to tell the difference here because they are pretty close in color. So let's open up this fake one. So we're gonna crack the seal off of this, guys. I'm gonna show you the packs inside and the cards inside. We're gonna open them up and we're gonna see the difference here. Now, these fakes are pretty old. This fake booster box was actually probably released back when Pokemon cards first came out and they were making these in some sort of factory. But let's crack this open. Let's see what's inside. I've never opened up one of these before. So here we go, guys. We have fake booster packs right off the bat. Here is a, another giveaway, guys. Look at how this is packed in here. All these packs are going all different directions. You got some jammed in up top here. You got some upside down, all over the place, mixed and matched up. So let's grab a stack out and I'm gonna show you guys right here. Check this out, guys. So we have fake Venusaurs, we have fake Blastoise. They're all upside down, all different directions. And actually, I don't even see any Charizard artworks. Do we have some? Yes, we do. Here is the Charizard artworks here. So they're all stacked in there. So I'm not gonna open up this booster box specifically, but I have one that I did open recently and a booster box opening on the channel. I didn't finish opening the box up yet, but here you guys can tell right here. Let's start with this Charizard. So first of all, most booster boxes, the packs alternate. So you have Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, then Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. So that's the order. You never see packs stuffed up in here, all, all different weird directions, everything like that. Once in a while, you might have a pack that's upside down or sideways by accident, but other than that, you're not gonna see that. So let's start off with this Charizard pack. So 
Right here, guys, the colors are completely off on this pack on the left here. The left is the fake, the right is the real. So you can see right away, guys, look at the colors here. The trading card game, it's all super saturated. It looks like they jacked the, the saturation up super high on here. There's so many other things that you can tell. So if you ever see a pack like this on the market, on eBay or anywhere like that, do not buy it. So let's check out the back here. And we can see right here, the one on the top is the fake. So check that out, guys. Right away, the Wizards logo on there is, the colors are off. The text is all weird and fuzzy. Um, everything is just fuzzy. If you check that out, look at the bottom. See the barcode down there? It's really clear. It looks like, you know, it's really sharp. And then you check out the top there, all fuzzy. So I'll give you a close up here. This is the fake, right? So check that out. Here's another side of the fake, the front. And then here's the real close up. So you can see the colors are much lighter on this pack. And there's the back. The text is nice and sharp. Um, other than that, it looks like a complete copy. Um, actually, okay, so the, the back crimp here. So this is a real one, right? So here's here's the back crimp. On this one, it doesn't really have a back. Uh, it does, but it's like going the other way, I believe. Yeah, it's going the opposite direction. So this one's down and this one's facing up and it's covering up here. So that's interesting. Um, but it looks like other than that, it's a complete copy. Um, they might've just photocopied these. I don't know how it works, but when they photocopy them, you know, it doesn't turn out as sharp. So right there. Um, so those are the differences between these packs. And then the other thing, here's the real one. Check out the crimps, guys. I mean, look at this. Here's a real crimp. You can see that. You can feel it. You can feel the crimps, you know, they're they're coming out of here. They, you can feel them where they crimped it, right? They got a machine and they crimp, they crimp it. This one, check this out. This is completely going the wrong direction. It looks like it, it actually goes into the cards. And then the bottom here, it looks like they use some sort of other way to seal us, whether it be glue or some kind of iron where it, it literally flattened this out. So you can check that out, guys. It's all flat on the bottom. The top is the same thing. There's not even any crimps on the top at all. Check that out. So guys, this is obviously the fake. This is the real one, but Let's go further. Let's check out the difference between fake card and a real card. So first off, guys, I actually have a booster pack here. This was in my booster box, and this one was actually, there was a factory error here where it actually, the crimp missed and it hit a card. So there was a card in here that was sticking up. You can see that there. It actually hit the card, so it didn't seal completely. So I'm gonna open up this pack for demonstration purposes only. So this is real. Let's open this one up, guys. It's already kind of open, but I'll open it from the bottom so you can see how a pack is supposed to open. So you have this crimp here. It's stuck to that. You pull it off. It comes off pretty nicely. Then you can pull this open like this. So it, it opens pretty nicely. So check this out. See? There's no glue, there's no weird sticky, it just opens smoothly. So let's open this up, let's go through the pack too. So we'll go through the cards. I have no idea if there's a hot in here or anything like that. I uh, I just wanted to open it because I'm, this isn't something that I would sell, uh, nothing that I would keep in the collection either because it's it's just not, you know, it's messed up where they crimped it. But that happens sometimes with authentic cards. So Ponyta, we got a Machamp, we got a Metapod, got a Staryu, and I'm gonna go through guys, I'm gonna show you so you can really tell the difference even just from, not even from just looking at them. You got the energy, the water, so it's gonna be rare here. Maybe we'll get a hollow. Super energy removal, removal non-hollow. Dugong, we got the Haunter, and we got a Dratini. So guys, those were the real cards. Oh, check this out too. Here's where the, the crimp was that missed. So for those you who don't know, Pokemon cards in the factory, they seal them, they crimp them, and it actually presses down on here. And you can see this card must have just been sticking up a little bit in the pack or whatever, like this. And when they went to crimp it, it hit the card. So it happens sometimes and it's not a big deal, but that is for demonstration purposes. So this we're gonna open up. So we're gonna crack right into this one. So this is how this one opens, right? That just, just opened up and I could feel the glue. So there's some kind of adhesive that they use. Let me try the bottom one because this one's even weirder. So yeah, this one, it won't open. See how weird it, it opens up? It was stuck and it's just, it, it must be a glue, I'm thinking, or some kind of adhesive, or they just straight heat the whole bottom part of it up and the whole thing was crimped so it's really hard to open up. On the authentic ones, it's only a little, little piece that was crimped. So let's keep going, guys. So, just for fun, I'll throw the, the front card in the back because I believe that's where they put the hollows. But So we have a Jigglypuff. 
a bill, and you can tell right away, these are so flimsy. Like, they're just so flimsy. They feel weird. They feel like waxy compared to the normal, real ones. Just the feel of them is off. Mankey, Magnemite, Goldine, Ratata, Primate, Coughing. We got a Pikachu Hollow. Now guys, these actually are pretty cool looking. I'm not gonna lie with the pattern in the background, but they are not real at all. This is such a low quality card compared to the real thing. So let's check this out. I'm gonna show you guys right now how you can tell the difference. So I'm gonna take a card and take this Goldine and we're just gonna rip it. Now check this out. I ripped this open and all you see here is this white, right? So there's all white in there nothing really inside of here um, and you can't really tell but it seems like they might have just pasted this front piece onto a piece of paper back to back kind of put them together sandwich them together to make the card so let's take a real card and i'm just going to take an energy so look away if you don't want to see this but check this out guys ripped it open and inside here you'll see there's black ink all right here if i can get a better rip on them you can kind of see it a little bit better but there's black ink right here so check that out. That right there means that the card is authentic because you have all this black film inside. And then when you go and you look at a fake one, there's no black film at all. So this is all just white here. And check that out, it's black. There's a better rip right there. You can see a little bit better. So all black ink in there. So you can tell right away that that card is authentic. But other than that guys, you can also check the cards out and you can feel them. If you handle cards for a while, you can tell the one on the right is a real card. It has more of a flat feel to it. The one on the left, it just feels waxy, really shiny. It's really slippery and it just feels overall, it feels cheap. Like this is, it's just flimsy. You could hold it in your hand, it just feels a lot cheaper. This real card doesn't really do that as much and it feels thicker. So, and we take a look at, other than that guys, you could check out the words on here. So if you check this out, this on the left side is a lot fuzzier than this on the right side. So let's take a closer look here. So here's the text on the right and then on the left here you can see like basic pokemon it just looks way um fuzzier um and then yeah the the card in general just doesn't feel good and we check out the back here the colors are off the cut is really bad and you can tell like the cut around the sides and edges are not good at all the colors are off and the quality overall is just way way lower so those are some ways that you can tell the difference between real and fake cards um, besides that, you know, you can rip them. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys right now, one way that you can definitely make sure your card is real is by having a PSA graded card. Now, PSA authenticates and grades Pokemon cards. So this is an original 1999 base set Blastoise. And this came in the original base set. So you could pull one of these out of here and then you could send it to PSA to be graded. Or you could buy a graded one, just knowing that the card is authentic. You have nothing to worry about. Uh, PSA handles the cards, they authenticate them, they grade them on a one to 10 scale. So you could see um, the condition, you can see the authenticity and things like that. Um, they're very accurate. I rarely, rarely ever see a fake card get through. I've, I've heard of some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that have gone through, but with Yu-Gi-Oh, um, there's weird different things that went on with that. I believe there were some fakes that came out of the actual factories where the real cards came out of. I don't know a ton about that, but here's a base set Venusaur. So this is another card that you could have pulled out of original base set right there. So this is PSA 9, which means it's a nine out of 10 mint condition. The highest condition you can get is a gem mint 10. And this is an authentic card graded by PSA. And the other thing on here you can look at, this is a Charizard. So you can look at the serial number on here. Each of the PSA graded cards have serial numbers. So you can type that serial number in to PSA and they will show you as long as the same card comes up that it's a Charizard, it's a mint nine, you know that the card is the actual one that PSA graded. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to you know, let you guys know how you can tell the difference between real and fake cards because I did have a video that I released, um, it was probably a week ago, and it showed how I was scammed on a first edition base set booster box and I spent $10,000 on it and I was scammed on it. So I really wanted to go more in depth with you guys and show you exactly how you can tell the difference between real and fake Pokemon cards. And yeah, guys, um, I think that's gonna be it. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Hopefully you learned something. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one.